going to be listening. But the sun went behind the cloud. I didn't think it had a chance. So it's moving this way, not this way. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. But I do know this. Y'all have been sitting here very quietly, intently listening. And on Monday, parents, that wasn't necessarily the case. And that's been the case all year. But Tuesday, when we go over sin, things start clicking. And then when we talk about the blood of Jesus, which a lot of these kids have grown up in church and heard all this. A lot of places like Fort Mill, I have kids I teach. I'll talk about it as I go over the code. They have not. So look at me. Y'all have been awesome. Right now, you have been awesome, awesome. And all week, you've been awesome. And so I want you, kind of like we did about two weeks ago in Mullen. I don't want you to scream. I just want you to talk to me. Everybody hear me with your eyes. Look right here. Look right here. We finish up. What's our first color? Gold. What's gold stand for? God's glory. God is holy, perfect, creator of all things. It's hot. And if you don't believe that there's a God, creator of all things, I think we're missing the boat. Now, Papa Todd just walked up, which I am very appreciative, more than you can imagine. Some people say he's interrupting. No, this is my brother about 25 years, brother from another mother with the same father. But he just became Papa Todd last Friday, a week ago. He just had his first grandbaby, and he is so excited to go visit and hold that baby. We got babies over here. People don't believe there's a God. I teach at Fort Mill High School, 33 years teaching. I have kids. Uh, well, my smartest student, I'll say she was the smartest, 103, the last day of school after exams. She had a problem with one of the teachers, and she felt comfortable talking to me. I signed her yearbook, and I'm like, hey, Raleigh, do you believe in God? No, sir. Never heard, never been, never. My parents, I'm like, wow. So I started going over the cup. Can I tell you the colors? Yes, sir. When I finished, it wasn't like, hey, I believe, Coach P. But that seed was planted. It was plowed and watered because she'd been listening to me all year at school, and I talked about Victory Sports. And so now she's been pondering for five weeks. I know God's working in her life because she believes in Big Bang. Well, that just doesn't make any cotton picking sense. Other than God saying, bang. I mean, really. Big Bang evolution, it doesn't make any sense. It's foolish. There's a creator who created everything because if it wasn't the way it is, it wouldn't be here. It just, there, there has to be. There's no other choice. So God, glory, gold is God's glory. Boys and girls, God's holy and perfect and we're not. What's the second color? Black or darkness, what's it represent? Our sin. Sin is anything that's not of God. It's got a little I in the middle. It's me, me, me. I want this and I want that. That little baby's going to grow up. All he can do is use the bathroom, eat, cry, wah. They get old enough to correspond with us. What do they do? Me, I, I. We have to teach them. It's not about you. Even though we want that, I got a two and a half year old. He knows Papa P loves him to death, but he's going to do right. Because I know what I found out as a teenager. He's going to do right. All right? I got a two month old. They're going to do right. They have to be taught that. So it's me, 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 self centered. Family, uh, parents, I have kids who never heard of Adam and Eve. That doesn't make sense to me, students. Never heard of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve messed it up, first man and first woman. You have to believe that or not. You have to believe the Bible or not. It's not a, I don't know. I don't know is a no. Sin brought into the world, we're sinful. Should we obey or disobey? Obey. Should we take things that's not ours? No. If you don't have anything good to say? No. And we've taught them this week, and we've seen some changes. Hey, boys and girls, if you believe that we're not holy and perfect like God, we're sinners, we're separated, God had a plan. What's the third color? Red. What's red stand for? Jesus is blood. Jesus sent his only son. Jesus died on the cross. He went to the grave. He arose from the dead. He was seen by many people. The verse on my back, parents, is, but thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. But if you go to 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 8, Paul writes that 500 saw him. We're going to have six, 700 people here today. If we all went and told one person, if we went and told one person, all of us would tell 700 people. Glory to God if you do. And if you need some help doing it, I'll go with you. I'll give you my number and I'll go talk to them. 
Paul wrote 500 to 12 disciples. Paul said, I saw him after Paul, the persecutor of Christians, killing Christians, was blinded. And Jesus spoke to him and said, you need to change. He got changed, saw Paul. That's what happened to me. I hadn't been the same 35 years at 24 years old. Hadn't been the same. Jesus changed my life. And we go to the next color, kids, and the sun's out, but we get ready to finish. What's the fourth color? White. What's white stand for? Cleansing. The Bible says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the old is gone, the new has come. You're a new creation. Parents, 24, 24 years old. My parents separated at the age of five. I'll be careful. My mom took her life at the age of, I was 19. She was 45. I was lost, but God, I met my sweet girlfriend, now my wife, of 33 years. Next month, Mama Mia, I wish she was standing here right now, because you'd go, woo, that's an angelic angel from above. Amen. Her and her mom, Gam, who we lost to breast cancer 10 years ago, gave me a book called The Survival Kit. And it won't save everybody, but it, it changed my life with the Bible. The Bible's the answer. But The Survival Kit gave this guy from Harleyville, six, uh, population 600, Harleyville, it gave me something to understand, and I changed my life. Even though I grew up in church, I knew Jesus hadn't changed my life, but at the age of 24. Doesn't mean I'm perfect. I mess up all the time. Have to ask forgiveness to God, to my wife, to my two sons. I forgot about that. Is Cody out here yet? Cody out here? Working hard. Christopher, where are you? My two sons have been here all week. Christopher's a fifth grade teacher at Indian Land. Cody's a fourth grade teacher in Harrisburg and also a children's minister. They've been doing this since Christian was 6 and Cody was 10 and now they're 24 and 28. They love God and they love people and it, Victory Sports has a lot to do with it because they grew up doing this. But old and new is the answer. Boys and girls, you have been in a class called Growth. You have had three awesome teachers teach you Growth. What is the last color? Green. What does green stand for? Grow. Help me spell it. Do your hands like this. What's G? Go to God in prayer. Go to God in prayer. Do your hands like this. What's R? Read the Bible. I want you to tell your parents G and R when you get home about the 15 minutes being 1%. I want you to tell them that math lesson I taught you today. 15 minutes is like 1% of the day, parents. 196. Hey, give me an O. Sit still and we're about done. What's O? Obey. Obey God. Obey authority. Your parents. Grandparents, teachers, give me a W and we're about done. Y'all doing great. Here's a breeze. Thank you, God. What's W? Witness. Witness means if you've seen something or heard something, go and tell. Parents, these kids have t-shirts. Be a cool show and tell at school. They got a Bible, bracelet, cool show and tell at school. Your children can be witnesses. That W can be little missionaries in their schools in your families, and if they're not acting like one, give us a call. Hey, Susie Q, did you pray to receive Christ? Well, act a little better. Think about it. Are you falling in that sinful nature? Get back on the right track. We'd love to see what God does. We've been doing this 18 years. Can you imagine a six-year-old, my son, now 24, been doing this 18 years, 50 camps? He's done like 50 camps. But we go to St. George and some of those kids have been doing it since they were six and now they're 24 at Carolina and different things like that. So you can be a witness. I thought only pastors did this and evangelists and missionaries in China. No, we need to do it right here. Acts 1-8 ministry in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and around the world. That's Victory Sports. If you have any questions, I don't want to finish too fast. I know sometimes I get long-winded and it just takes a little time. We still got to go home farther than y'all. We love y'all. God loves you. So do we. Put a smile on your face. Make the world a better place. But I will close in prayer if you will let me.